Okay, Paige thinks being Facebook official is very important in this day and age. Well, Paige, what's going on? So I'm 18, and um, I'm just really in love with my boyfriend. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Well, We've been dating for about three months now, and I'm just ready to make it Facebook official, you know? Oh, well, how'd you meet? You've been going with him for three months. How'd yeah. you guys meet? Well, we met a couple months back, and um, I met him through mutual friends at first. Yeah. I thought he was kind of creepy. He came on to me a little too hard and oh, stuff. Oh, creepy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I got to know him and he, as a friend, and yeah. he, was, he was a good guy. Um, he's a tattoo artist. Oh, I can see that on your... Yeah. Did he do that one? Yeah, he did this one. He's oh, done all right. my tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I wanted to get tattoo from him, but I didn't have the money at the time. Yeah. So he offered to um, let me get the tattoo, and when I get the money, to pay him back. Yeah. So we did the tattoo, and uh, time came around when I was supposed to get the money, and something happened, and I wasn't... You didn't have the money. I wasn't able to get the money still. So he offers, um, to have, if I have sex with him, to... Um, he give won't. me the tattoo for free. Oh, my, what a bargain. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, at first, I thought this idea was ridiculous, you know? Like, yeah. I'm not a prostitute. No. I'm not going to sell my body for something free, or, not, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly, not for a tattoo. Yeah. yeah. But I thought about it, and, yeah. he, you know, like... <laughs> what the heck? It was only, it was only one time. He's, so you had sex with him? Yeah, it happened, and it turned out to be really great. Oh. Like, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've heard that can be fun. Yeah. And then after that, I, we just kind of got together. We started, we started dating, and uh, I've, I moved in with him. We've been together ever since. Okay. So uh, this is all good. So you're here basically to tell them, let's make it Facebook yeah, official? Yeah, I'm ready to make that step. Okay, well, I tell you what, Chris is your boyfriend. Yes. Okay, give it up for Chris. So, babe, you know how much I love you and how much I care about you? you there's someone I see a future with, and if you, I'm ready to make it Facebook official. We talked about this before, Paige. You're, you're a really cool girl, okay? And you're super sexy. You're definitely the sexiest chick I've ever been with in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're, you're great, that but... That screams Facebook. I, I'm just not the committing type, and oh. she knows this. Um, I, I'm not ready to commit. I'm not ready to put it on Facebook. Oh. There's, there's something else I need to tell you. Oh. Two weeks ago, we were having that party and I asked you to have a threesome with me in Savannah. And of course you said no, and we kind of started to get you a little bit drunk, and you passed out. So when you passed out, me and Savannah went to the garage and we had sex. Why did you do this? You're I'm 29, you're 18, Paige. You're boring. We, we, we're not on the same level in maturity wise you're still a little girl i mean yeah the, the sex is good and, and you're hot but we can't carry on a conversation you talk and talk and talk and talk you know i get upset about something i tell you leave me alone for five minutes you know what you do 45 seconds later oh babe i'm sorry i want to talk to you i want to and i tell you leave me alone no 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 you're, you're really immature you got a lot of growing up to do. I mean, I can't ever see you as a mother figure to my children. I know I, know, I know I told you I love you, but that's just so you'll have sex with me. I like having sex with you. You Facebook whore. <laughs> I call it like I see it, Jerry. I, let, let, me, let me explain this to you, Jerry. Yeah. The, 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 I'll explain to you how classy this girl is, okay? Yeah. So. I meet Paige, right? We're, yes. we're hanging out. She tells me, oh, I want a tattoo, and I don't have no money, and, you know, she comes over, we hang out, we become decent friends. She's dating one of my friends. So the minute that she breaks up with him, what do I say? Hey, come over. Let me hit it. I'll give you some tattoos. Oh. I thought... If you think she's a child, then you're taking advantage of a child. That's not <laughs> Does grass on the field play ball? You know? So 
I, I explain to her, explain to her, you know, I'll give her the tattoo. She, she decides that she's gonna do it. She comes over, I give her my all. Now, like I said, she's a hot girl. I thought that it was gonna happen one time, maybe, you know? Yeah. Never happened again. So I gave it to her, 110%, you know? <laughs> poured into it. Told her what she wanted to hear, laid it on. Next day, she calls me, says, hey, I wouldn't mind doing it again. <laughs> what do I do? Being the guy that I am, tell her, bring her hot little ass back over. <laughs> I wanna get it again. So she does, and she never left. Are you shocked that he's like this? Did you not see this side of him in the first mm, well, three months? I haven't. We've talked about the problems we have, and I understand I'm not perfect. No, you talk and talk and talk and talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, but if you're 29, you are old enough to know that you ought not to take advantage. I mean, that's, you know, that's not... I really didn't see it as taking advantage. I mean, she is an adult. She's legal. She can make she can make her own decision. She made the decision to have sex with me. You know, that's how I seen it. I didn't think you were going to lead me on and take advantage of me like this though. What? I thought this was real. We've talked about our problems and you never made it seem like it was such a, it was a, a big deal. I'm you a know? guy. I like to have sex. It's the way it is. Let's bring out Savannah. What made you think it was an okay idea to sleep with my boyfriend? Honestly, I didn't think that it was okay. It wasn't anything against you. I just wanted to have sex with him. He's attractive, right? Isn't that kind of whorish? <laughs> no, honestly, it's not whorish to me. I'm 19 years old. I'm going to school. I'm not looking for a commitment. And he isn't either. We have that understanding. You didn't want a threesome. I was down for it. So we had sex. Seriously? That's not okay with me, or that, you're, you. Can you talk, are you brain dead? Yeah, I'm just in shock that this is happening right now. I, I came on to become, I'm in love with my boyfriend. I came on to become f Facebook yeah. official with exactly. him. Exactly, you're and in love just, with him. And this after, all gets thrown in my face. After three months, you're in love with the guy? You're a well, little kid. And you're trying to tell me what, you know what love is? You, when you're just going around and whoring yourself around, sleeping with everyone, um, going on, going to our party, going to, getting half naked, stripping in front of everyone. You think everyone thinks you're and really, they just want you for your sex, obviously. Mm. What love is, he treats you like a dog page. He makes you cry every day. Like, is that love to you? He treats you like crap. But he knows how to, we work on it. We're getting, he's, he's learning, he's teaching me how to be a better person. And he just told you he doesn't want to be committed to you, so that's being a better person, teaching how to be a better person. You sold yourself to him for tattoos. You have no room to talk. You are a whore, obviously. I admit okay. that. All right. Um, you're a sweet young, young girl, but at 18, you're still a girl. Maybe just about starting to become a woman. You, what this is showing you is that you deserve better than someone who's just been a, you know, a teacher like that. You know. Who's Isaac? Isaac is my ex. Is your ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Well, here's Isaac. Paige, I came out here to tell you I love you. I think you're amazing. I think you're gorgeous. I think you're caring and loving. I think you're sweet. And when we were together, you did everything and you sacrificed everything to make me happy. And I tried my best to do the same. And I know it got a little bit rough. But I'm telling you, I would do anything to get back with you. Anything at all. I love your hazel eyes. I miss waking up next to you. That was my favorite part of the morning was waking up next to you. Holding you and kissing you and telling you I love you. That's all. It's all so sweet. And I, I love to hear that, but I wish it was from someone else. Um,
when I've I was with her, with her way before you, have no you ever dis- knew about you it. You had no respect for her, though, man. And what can you do? You, you ride a skateboard all day, you gonna pick her up and take her to Imaginarium oh. Land? Oh, because you're doing so good, huh, with your tattoo business out of your home? Look yeah, at this, bro. what is yeah. that? Get tattoos, right? Oh, yeah, because you want, you're, that's I your own benefit. I take your girl with that's the tattoo, your own benefit. bro. That's yeah. your own benefit, My dude. benefit, bro. I took her from you, didn't I? Manipulating this girl? Yeah. An 18-year-old girl? Get a girl your own age, man. Yeah, what are you gonna do, bro? You gonna, you gonna use the force on me with your Jedi rat tail? Come on, bro. You little punk, bro. That's what you are, man. Say nothing to me. You're a little ass dude. kid, bruh. I'm a little ass yeah. kid. Yeah, and I deserve her way more than you do, man. Yeah. She don't. Yeah. She's she's so sweet. She don't deserve to get talked to the way you do. You don't even have. She don't want to do one little chore for you while you're sitting down smoking weed all day. You have the you don't have the decency to take her in the back room, yell at her in front of everybody, call her stupid, call her names. Yeah. How are you a man? Yeah, cause I'm a man, bro. You're a loser. Exactly. Do that to you? Yeah. Well, then what is it that you're loving here? Because this is hard to understand. He, he, when we're alone, he treats me so good. And I just love the way he makes me feel, like, when it's just me and him. And he can be nice in front of his friends, but... No, he's not, Peach. We were just the other day, he was saying how he hates to be around you all the time, how he's, like, annoyed because he's around you 24-7, and you went crying on the other couch. No one wants you, Paige. No one will ever love you. So what's going to happen here? I mean, I... I'll... I like to I like to keep around having sex with her and stuff, but I'm not gonna stop having sex so with you're other not gonna women. Stay with him. Well, I don't. I I guess I can't. I want to be treated well. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.